or projects about 2020. Facts. What you actually said, fuck you to God. Yeah. I've been going through it, Vlad. Over 2020. Yeah. My little sister, she OD. Wait, wait, what happened? My little sister, she OD. She okay? No, she dead. Your, your biological sister? Not my biological sister, my hood sister, the girl oh. come up under me. Oh, you man. know, she died, OD. My first cousin OD two weeks ago. <sighs> my first cousin OD two weeks ago. People taking drugs more. You know, we talked about this last time. You said you said the trap house are, are bumping right now. People are getting high to try to get away from reality right now. I've been taking a lot of losses, a lot of death in my family. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm and sorry. And then he, you know, it's crazy because he's taking the good people, like you know, people who don't hurt nobody. And shit, you know, so. I'm getting back. I'm getting back. I'm getting back, though. You know, I've been, I've been praying more. You know, before I go to sleep and shit. You know. All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Kakwa Dash. I want to say double honor to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone for teaching us his word in truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe, preaching in the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. This is the brother Gabari Yahweh from GMS Hawaii coming to you in another video. And it's on this video that I just played, in, played for you, you know, Boosie on Boosie on saying, F the most high after his cousin and little sister OD. All right. Now, uh, this man, he's he, this ain't the first time he's disrespected the Heavenly Father. And you said you, you can see at the end, he said he'd been trying to get back, he been praying more. Well, guess what? Who's first of all, who is he praying to? He ain't praying to Yahweh Bashim Shai. So that means his prayers are falling on deaf ears, man. And that's why the Lord said, What lift up not a prayer for these people, for I not hear, I will not hear you. Uh, when they called me, man. Roughly paraphrasing, man. Two thirds of Israel, you refused to come back to your how about Shemel was shot. Okay? And then when something happens to you in this world, hey, like the scripture said, let me go get it. Let me go get it. Let me go get it. This is uh um Hosea five. Hosea chapter five, verse fifteen. It says I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face and their affliction, they will seek me early. So when Jake is going through some shit and they, when they're afflicted, whether they, you know, sick, going through jail, some terrible things happen to them, that's when they want to seek the most high. But when they were living in lap and luxury and chilling and doing what they was doing in this world, they wasn't trying to seek after the, the heavenly father, man. So when you afflicted, that's when you want to try to seek him. But then on top of the fact that not only that, hey, you you cursed out, you cursed the you cursed the most high, man. Okay, why? Because he he didn't un, he doesn't understand why people are here on this earth. Okay, the majority of people on this planet Earth believe that oh you're here to become a scientist to you know to be the best you that you can be to find love and happiness and just live it up. This ain't what Earth is for, man. Not right now. This place is a place of judgment. That's in the scriptures. This is uh, this is um, Ecclesiastes uh, three and sixteen. It says, "And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment that wickedness was there, and a place of righteousness that iniquity was there. So this place is a place of judgment. His cousin and his his little sister, his play sister, whatever, she she dropped dead because that was her judgment. Okay, she dropped dead because." The most high, Yahweh Bashim was shy, told in the spirit once she passed away before that, hey, look, you're gonna live, you're gonna do this, blah, 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 blah. And then at a certain point, you're gonna die, you're gonna overdose. Well, you you know, that was her judgment. And so that's what this place is. The earth is a place of judgment right now. It's not a paradise for the children of Israel. Okay? Right now, we should be in a repentant state, trying to seek the most high ten times more. Seek after Yahweh Bashim was shy. The name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is out there, is, is, is there. And he's in the entertainment industry, so I know he heard it. But he 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 ain't trying to hear it. He ain't trying to hear it. And Jake just think that, oh, I went to church, or oh, I threw up a prayer, that that's going to that's gonna make it everything work. Well, this is what the Lord say about that, man. Uh, let me see if I can find it. 
This is, um, I, know, I know it's either in Proverbs or Psalms. So just bear with me. This is, um, <clears throat> this is Proverbs 3 and 32. For the forward is abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. And two thirds of Israel are in a forward state of mind. Okay. Let's look up that word for forward. Let's look up that word as Proverbs 3 and 32. Proverbs 3, 32 says the forward is an abomination. Let's look at the word for forward. Okay. That word for forward, the Hebrew word there is lawaz. Lawaz. All right. And it says to depart or turn aside, to depart, to go wrong, to go crooked, devious, perverse, to be lost from you. Two thirds of Israel are lost from you. That's why uh, uh, um, two parts are going to be cut off and die. Bootsy, this nigga is lost from view. He's in the world. He's completely consumed in the world. Okay? So he don't understand the secrets of the Most High. Okay? We're not saying if you take a loss here, especially if somebody you supposedly love, that you ain't supposed to mourn him. But, yo, you understand, with, with knowledge and wisdom understanding, you understand that, hey, that's not the end for them. They're in the spirit world resting. They're going to be back. It's not a big deal. Okay? We don't die. We, we, just, we just reincarnate, keep reincarnating. Okay? And he don't understand that, you know, while he's mourning for them, he should be mourning for himself, man. Yahweh Shai said that to the, to, the, uh, to the people. He said, hey, you, you mourn for me. You need to mourn and weep for yourselves, man, because all the hell that's coming. Or that came during that time and even now. All the hell that's coming. You know, because this man, he gonna, he gonna possibly have to watch his children die of famine. You know, he gonna have to die of famine, be destroyed. All because of them idle words that he thought he was spewing out. Matter of fact, let me get that. Every idle word. Let me get that. Every idle word. See. I mean, I'm a, I'm a, this is uh, St. Matthew chapter 12, verse 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that man that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. So this dude, he's going to have to give account for that, man, for him disrespecting the most high because he was upset. Or he was emotionally perturbed. And Yahweh Shema Shai ain't trying to hear. When, when wrath and judgment come, he's not trying to hear all that. You're just going to get wrath. You're going to get judged. You know, this dude said after Most High, he told him to shoot like he was some type of child or something. You know what I'm saying? And to my love you, but go sit down somewhere. He said, F you. He threw up the middle finger. All, and then he got mad when his people start dropping dead. That's judgment. The Most High, get, the most high Yahweh Shema Shai know what Jake like. He know what you love, and guess what? He'll start striking them. He'll start striking the things that you love to get your attention. But this nigga, his attention is not gotten. He's just being a nigga. You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna only a matter of time is gonna tell when he's gonna be taken out. And how about Shimon Shah is gonna make it public, just like he made uh he makes the death of these these idols here and these living idols here public public uh knowledge, man. I, I just tried to do the same video earlier and my phone froze, but it was a guy on the bottom of uh, here, FBG Duck, this rapper nigga in Chicago, a total demon. He got shot in the street and it was public, man. So how much more of this nigga Boosie? Again, but I say unto you that every idle word men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment, man. Because Jake don't think that he's going to be judged for this, man. And it ain't going to be no... You standing in line waiting to hear your judgment. Oh, man. When the wrath of Yahweh Bashima and Shai come, Jacob's trouble, all hell break loose out here, famine, death, plague, destruction, all that take hold of this place, America, and that which is Babylon the Great in the Bible, you're going to get that, man. He going to receive the full brunt of that, man. Okay? He's going to receive that. Job 15 and 1. It says, Then answered Eliphaz the Temanite and said, Should a wise man utter vain knowledge? And fill his belly with the east wind. And that's what they do here. These people, they claim that they're wise. But their their knowledge is, 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 is full of is BS, man. It's vain knowledge, man. 
should he reason with unprofitable talk or with speeches where, where if he can do no good right and that's what this dude is doing everything that he's saying is unprofitable talk and he can't do no good with these speeches that he's giving it says um yeah thou castest off fear and restraineth prayer before the most high right so when here it is he don't fear the most high enough to humble himself in the sight of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Even though he calling God, he believes that there's a power. He got, you know, so he you shouldn't you humble yourself in front of that power? Not you don't magnify yourself. You don't puff up your chest. Okay, but he don't fear the most high. And it's evident. Okay? It says, Yea, ye cast off fear, he casted off the fear, and he restraineth prayer before the most high. For, uh, let me look at that word for restraining. It says uh, that word for restrain there is garai, and it says to diminish, restrain, withdraw, abate, to keep back, to do away, to take clip, to diminish, restrain, withdraw. Yeah, so he said he pray every night before he go to sleep. When the scripture says you need to pray always, pray without ceasing. Okay, and it says, yeah, yeah. Thou casteth all fear and restraineth prayer before the Most High. For thy mouth uttereth thine iniquity, and thou choosest the tongue of the crafty. Right, because the crafty, the, the, the Edomites, the wicked, they, they always disrespecting the Most High. They blaspheme the spirit of Yahweh by Shema And they're going to pay for that, but Jake, two-thirds of Israel, they choose that. They choose that tongue, okay? They choose that tongue. And his mouth utter his mouth utter his iniquity, which he... Which he he did it. Uh, Vlad said, "You said F F God after your family dropped dead." He's like, "Yeah, I said it," and he didn't say he he wasn't humble with that. He was proud. And so the Yahweh by Shemuel Shai is gonna deal with this man. Okay, he's gonna deal with this man. Thine own thy mouth uh, thine own mouth condemneth thee, and not I. Right. We see this man. We bring the truth out to this dude. We are gonna tell him, "Hey, you need to repent, man." Because your mouth is condemning you, man. The things that you said against the Mosai, your how about your mouth shot, you're going to have to pay for that, bro. The Mosai ain't no sucker. He ain't no child, man. He ain't no, he ain't no, he ain't no, he ain't nothing to be played with, bro. That's why the scripture says, through the terror of the Mosai, we uh, persuade, uh, 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 we persuade men to do what? To repent. This is um, Galatians. This is Galatians. What was it uh, three and six? Nah. Oh, five. Uh, six and seven. This is Galatians six and seven. It says, "The Wadiyah Hashem shot. Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reapeth." For he that soweth to the to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall the spirit shall of the spirit reap everlasting. Life everlasting. Okay, and this dude, he's not sowing to his spirit. To the spirit. He's not sowing to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim I was shy. He's sowing to his flesh. You know, he's smoking that weed, he's being a nigga in the world, he's he's consumed with the world, he's consumed with money and fame and glory. So he's going to reap what comes with that, which is corruption and destruction. It says, uh, when you look up that word for uh, reap corruption, let's go to that word. It says, uh, that word for corruption in the Greek is Strong's G 5356. Thara. Thara. Thara, which is corruption, destruction, perishing. That which is subject to corruption, what is perishable. Okay. So, and that's what he is. He's going to he's going to die here, man. With the, with those words because again, those words didn't fall on deaf ears, man. Yahweh by Shemuel shot heard every word he said, man. And he's going to have to answer for that, man. Back in Job chapter 15, it says, "Thine own mouth condemneth thee and not I. Thine own lips testify against thee, and his lips testified against him." His lips testified against him. Art thou the first man that was born? Or was thou made before the hills? Has thou heard the secret of the Most High? And dost thou restrain wisdom to thyself? What knowest thou? 
that we know not. What understandest thou which is not in us? With us are both the gray, the gray headed and the very aged men, much elder than thy father. Are thou the consolation of the heavenly father small with thee? I'm sorry, are, are the consolations of the heavenly father small with thee? Is there any secret thing with thee? Why doth thine, thine heart carry thee away? And what do thy eyes wink at? That thou turnest thy spirit against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai the Most High and lettest such words go out thy mouth, man. Exactly. You know, this nigga, he was talking like he created himself. He created the world. Like, you know, he like he got some type of understanding. Which his understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai come from men, which they told him that God loves everybody. And that's why two thirds get mad when your people drop dead. You know, your nigga end up on a shirt. Because you think that, oh, God loves everybody, so everybody's supposed to be living. So when niggas start dying, you start getting mad. Because you was told that God loves everybody. Which that's that's not the case, man. It says, Thou it says thy, that thou turnest thy spirit against the most high, and let us such words go out thy mouth. What is man that he should be clean? And which and he which is born of woman that he should be righteous, right? Because uh, uh, when you born a woman is uh, Your days are short man And full of trouble man Of the woman became sin Behold he put up no trust in his saints Yeah the heavens are not clean In his sight how much more Abominable and filthy is man Which drinketh iniquity like water And that's, that's He's an example He's an example of what the mindset of two thirds He just so called famous here But hey they drink iniquity like water they, and they don't, they don't stop the pause or nothing, man. You see? How much more abominable and filthy is man which drinketh iniquity like water? I will show thee, hear me, that which I have seen I will declare. Which wise men have told from their fathers and have not hid it? Unto whom alone the earth was given and no stranger passed among them. The wicked man travaileth with pain all his days. That nigga Boosie, he's, all, he's in all kinds of pains, man. And the number of years... Is hidden to the oppressor. Okay, this is um, Job chapter six, verse. What is it? Uh, four. Um, this is uh, Job six in uh, I thought it was in chapter six and seven. Salaki. This is Job chapter uh, 4, verse 7. It says, Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? So he said that God taking all the good ones, all the ones that don't hurt nobody. Hey, just because you don't hurt nobody in this life, hey, you, you're hurting yourself. You're hurting yourself by sinning against the Lord. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. You see? And he don't understand that. So just letting you know that the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai controls life and death. This place that we live in is a place of uh, a, a judgment. This is not a place where you're supposed to live your best life and ball out of control. This place ain't our rest. We seeking a continuing uh, city, man, which is going to be the kingdom of heaven here on earth. Uh, Second Samuel, uh, uh, I mean First Samuel, two and six. First Samuel two and six. It says, "The Lord killeth and maketh alive." He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. Okay, so the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His Son, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, uh, uh, um, um, dictates life and death, man. He he does that. And we, it's not up to us to get upset when we see it happening. It's a part of life. Yes, it's hard. Yes, it's, you can mourn. But you never let no, no shit out your mouth like that. You never curse the Most High, man. They said Job went through all that hell. He lost everything. But he never sinned with his lips, man. He didn't sin with his lips. But Jake, they just do it like it's nothing. And they don't even see an opportunity, the opportunity in front of them to repent. He's not going to hear that. He this this dude is he's destined to drizzle down in this world, man. Okay. All right. Hey, so with that, I want to bring I give all praise and honor and glory. To Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kakudash, to double honor to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, the teachers of the word and truth and sincerity for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Ak and keep pushing, keep striving 
We almost out of here. Inshallah. Repent.